hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel my name is messi thank you so much for watching so today i'm creating a part two look from the aliexpress you can be eyeshadow palette that i used to create um a first look <laughs> if you haven't seen the look please check on my channel i'll be leaving the description down below for you guys to check it out so first i'm prepping my eyes i'm just using my l'oreal infallible concealer in the shade almond so I'm doing a part two look from the palette. I wanted to create five look of the palette before leaving the palette. So I'm using that light brown shade from the palette. I'm just using that as my transition shade. So I'm using a big fluffy brush. This brush is kind of like, um, how would I call it? It form like a highlighter brush. So I like using brushes like these. They just give me exactly the blend the perfect blend that i want so i think smaller brushes does not give me that much blend that i want so i like using blush brushes like this so i'm just going to keep intensifying it just not to take a lot of time i'll be doing one eye off camera and this look is just going to consist on the eyes alone so i'm not doing any foundation routine i'm just trying out the palette which does not come with a uh, foundation routine it's just an eye look only so for the next shape that I'm going in with that deeper brown, I'm just going to apply that at the outer part of my eyes only. So as you can see, I'm not going to be taking it to the front of my eyes, just that particular spot. I'm just going to blend very, very well. So right now I'm using a more defined, precise brush to apply it in that particular spot and also blend it out. I won't be taking it up to my crease area and I won't be taking it to the front of my eyes. So I'm just going to leave it in that particular spot. And also, I went in with a little bit of black to intensify that particular place. I just added a small black, but later went in with a lot of brown to blend it out because I don't want that shade to be too black. So when doing a look like this, guys, I just say do a lot of blending. I think blending is how you get your perfect eyeshadow. So if you want to get a perfect eyeshadow that will look very smooth and very beautiful, you have to do a lot and lot of blending so i'm just taking my time to blend i'm just blending so that i can be very well diffused so the next thing i'll be using right now is going to be my nyx glitter glue i'm just going to apply that at the front of my eyes where i'll be applying the shimmer shade that i'll be putting in my eyes so i'll be going into the palette i'm just going to be taking this shimmer shade that blue shimmer I'm just going to apply that at the front of my eyes. So one thing I don't understand is about the shimmer is that the shimmer kind of came out like a light blue on the palette. So when I applied it on my eye, it kind of gave me a darker blue vibe, which I don't understand why. So I wanted that shimmer to pop very, very well. That was why I added a little bit of glitter glue so that I might get that intensity of brightness that the glitter is giving me so i'm going to be going back into that deeper brown shade i'm going to use it to soften out the edges of that um, shimmer i'm going to be blending it into the brown shade so i can look very well blended so i'm going to be lining my eyes i'm using this eyeliner so i'm kind of loving a little bit of this liner lately I no longer use liquid liner I just start using this type of liner recently which I am kind of like in love with right now and really is really working very nice and also one thing I'm going to say is that if you are not too good with liner and you are a new beginner I would say you should use a gel liner because gel liner is very nice and it's something that you can control to your own taste you can decide on where to put it and where not to but the liquid liner they kind of like a mess whenever you make a mistake everything is gone so i'm trying to clean out the ss fallout that i have on my face and also the concealer that i have on my face as well so i'm going to be doing a little bit of a glitter liner but since i don't have a glitter liner i'm using my glue this is the sephora glue and a little bit of a refined glitter that I bought off Aliexpress as well. So those glitters are very, very beautiful. But because of the lightning, you can barely tell they are beautiful and sparkly. So you can't even see them in my eyes because 
I'm, ha I'm having a blue eye look as well so you can tell which of the glitter is on my eye so I decided to mix it with a little bit of um, what do they call it a silver color glitter so that I can get a little bit of brightness and intensity so I'm lining my water eye line with this liner that I got off my local beauty shop so I'm putting a blue liner under my water line so one thing I'm going to say is whenever you're applying a glitter or a liner on your eyes and you discover you made a mistake just use a, bl a black liner to clean it out it just gives you a precise shape so for my lower lash line i'm using the brown shade that i use on my outer part of my eyes to blend out my lower lash line so as you can see i'm not using the deep brown, brown shade i'm using the more of like the transition brown shade to blend it out because i don't want that brown to be too intense i want my blue to be able to pop out of that eye so that you can see the blue very very well because if i use the intense brown shade it's going to look like I have more of like a brown than the blue shade that I have on my eyes right now. So I'm using this white eyeliner that I got off AliExpress as well. If you've been watching my video, you know I talk about this liner very, very well. I talk about it all the time. So I'm just going to pop that on my inner corner and also highlight my nose. So if you've been watching my video, you know <laughs> that I don't highlight my face. I just highlight my nose only. So for my lashes, I'm cutting my lashes. I'm using my Essence Big Lash Mascara. If you've been watching my video, you know this is my like my Holy Grail mascara. I've bought a lot from this mascara because I just love the way it works easily and it applies on my eyes and also stretch out my small lashes. So I went off camera to do my look, to do my lashes. So I'm lining my lips. I'm using my, um, this is the Pro Freedom um lip liner i'm just using it to line my lips and for lipstick i won't be using a lipstick today i'm using a gloss instead so i'm using this my holy gray gloss from la colors i'm just going to apply that on my lips as well So guys this is the finished look thank you so much guys for watching as you can see this look is very short and simple and very easy for anyone to create it's nothing that difficult thank you for watching and if you haven't subscribed please try and subscribe and also give this video a thumbs up if you like it thank you so much guys for your love and your support i'll be seeing you in my next video bye